In this video, we are going to start metal and non-metal. We all are surrounded by a lots of substance, right? Every substance have their own characteristics. Based on the characteristics, there are some of the substance which is made up of same kind of atoms, right? Now the question comes, what is an atom? Atom is the smallest particle or you may say it is the basic unit of any matter that we have, right? Here is an diagrammatic example given. It is a substance and it is made up of all same kind of atom, right? So this substance then considered to be as an element, right? Now here we have few examples, gold, silver. These are considered to be as an elements. How? Because gold is the substance which is made up of only the gold atoms, right? While silver is a substance which is made up of only silver atoms. So here we can consider this as an element. Based on their different kinds of properties that they have, these elements are further categorized into three main categories. Metals, non-metals and metalloids. Here we have few examples of metals. Iron, few examples of non-metals. This is sulfur, red phosphorus. There are a lot of more examples like carbon we have. An example of metalloid. Silicon, germanium, arsenic. As far we concern, at present, 118 elements are known today, out of which 94 are metals, 22 are non-metals and rest we have few metalloids. Okay? Now, where do this element found? Right? So, these elements they found naturally in the earth crust, right? And this compounds we call it as mineral, okay? Now, minerals can be of two types, bacha. okay? So, one type of mineral where the impurities are very large as compared to the metal that we have, right? And there are some minerals which consists large number of the metal or non-metal in that as compared to the impurities. So such minerals from which we can extract the metals profitably. It means what? It means it definitely bears very less amount of impurities in it, right? Such minerals we have given them a specific name which we call it as ores, right? So, all ores are minerals. Basically, all ores are minerals, bacha, right? But not all minerals are ores. Okay. Next, we have some of the additional facts. Most abundant element in the earth. Here we are not talking about any metal, non-metal or metalloids. We are talking about just an element, right? So, which is the most abundant element in the earth? This is our oxygen, okay? Next, most abundant metal. This is aluminium on our earth crust, right? Most abundant metalloid that we have in our earth crust is silicon. How? Silicon is present in the form of 
silicon dioxide right chemical name of sand right now most abundant element in universe right this is none another than hydrogen okay hydrogen that we have in as a part of water right hydrogen we have as a part of our atmosphere and is also a part of fossil fuels as being a, a different hydrocarbons that we have right so this is how hydrogen is considered to be the most abundant element and found in the universe okay thank you